Why don't we go to Nick from Tennessee next? Nick, you're on the air. Nick from Tennessee, you're on the air. Hey, David, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, uh, thanks for taking my call. My question is actually about the stock market. Um, It's something that I've taken interest in, um, mainly after reading Matt Taibbi's journalistic work on the 2008 financial crisis and um, learning more through the documentary Capital in the 21st Century. And my question for you is, um, is it, am I overestimating the impact that the stock market and financial market has on our system? Or is it something that doesn't get talked about due to the sort of inaccessibility of it and how hard it is to enact change? Um, Well, you might have to say a bit. No, I I think um, I think many people accurately understand the impact of the financial system, the stock market being a piece of that on our political system. Um, you, you you know, maybe you could be more specific in terms of the ways you think are not appreciated enough. But I think anybody who's paying attention to the political space in a serious way understands that the financial system is inextricably linked to the political system, both in terms of how the financial system funds the political system, uh, but also how it uh, has created sort of this revolving door of regulatory capture where you have the regulators and the industry leaders and the elected officials all together and often going from one role to the next. Is there a specific way you think it's underappreciated? I it's tough because I'm just learning about it. So I'm, I'm still sort of finding the, the excuse me, the vocabulary to um, to express, you know, my concern with it. But yeah, in learning just the history of um, how the stock market essentially took over the economy um, as soon as it was introduced or created in, you know, around the time just after industrialization in America. Um, And the fact that it has sort of remained this very powerful presence, but doesn't seem to ever enter the, uh, the political arena of discussion, at least on, on the, the level of public discourse, which we hear from most media sources. Yeah, I think I think to some degree you're right. I mean, I do think that there's a superficial analysis of if the stock market's up, it signals a good economy. And if it's down, it signals a bad economy. And of course, the stock market isn't the economy and stocks are disproportionately held by a relatively small percentage of people, certainly the vast, vast majority of the shares. Uh, but I, I think I would agree with you that there, there's not a deeper analysis of the connection between the stock market and and the political system that that maybe would be useful. But I do think most people are at least generally aware of the role of the stock market and, and how publicly traded companies, generally speaking, operate. That's fair. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm still learning and, and, and new to this world, but it's just something that has really intrigued me lately. Um, And just one final question for you. And I've learned through watching your content that you participate in the stock market. Um, What is your, I guess, stance on it as a participant um, from our, you know, the ground level of being just a a consumer who is also involved in stocks and investing? Yeah. So this isn't financial advice advice. But as I've said before, uh, you know, my My full time thing is not picking stocks and making investments. And even the people who do that full time often underperform the market averages. So I'm not arrogant enough to think I'm particularly good at picking stocks. So my approach is dollar cost averaging, regularly buying more and more shares of low cost index funds, which you can get for, you know, sometimes five basis points, meaning point oh five percent fees. Nope not paying any managers one, one and a half percent fees for for uh, managing a hedge fund. Just go with the lowest price index funds. And then within my portfolio, maybe three to five percent of my money is in individual stocks that I have some knowledge of. So, for example, people know I bought Tesla stock six years ago and I have a few other individual stocks. But my approach as a participant is I'm busy hosting my show, running a business. I devote very little time to picking stocks and I'm just buying the broader uh, index funds and paying as little as possible in fees. Cool. 
Uh, thanks a lot for taking my call. I really enjoy your show and I look forward to, to more. All right. My pleasure. Nick from Tennessee. Great to hear from you.